Number 67. Based on formal charge considerations, which of the following would likely be the correct arrangement of atoms in nitrosyl chloride? CLNO or CLON? Good question. So, without even looking at formal charge considerations, we actually know which one of these is actually the correct formula. So we could even guess this without formal charges. Now, why do we know this? Because we know the rules for Lewis structures. Remember, the first thing is that you got to figure out which is the central atom. Now, for these, they wrote it out from left to right, right? So CLNO versus CLON. So in this case, the nitrogen would be the central atom as opposed to the oxygen. And do you guys remember what the basically the number one rule is for picking your uh, central atom? Remember, the central atom, I'll just put CA, the central atom, the one in the middle, should always be the least electronegative. So that comes with knowing that trend. But we know that trend, right? As we go from left to right across the periodic table, electronegativity, so I'll just put EN, electronegativity increases, and as we go from top to bottom, electronegativity decreases. So it's down to N versus O. Well, which one is the less electronegative? Nitrogen is. So that means that this would be the compound. This would be the correct compound, and this would be incorrect. That would be the easy way out, right? But they want us to do formal charges, so we're just going to write them out, do the formal charges, but you will also see that we get the same exact answer. I'm just going to erase this. Okay. So now I'm going to write the Lua structures for these two proposed uh, formulas. And remember, whenever you need to do the formal charges, the first thing that you need to do is you need to draw the Lua structure perfectly. So if you guys are not strong in your Lua structures, go back to questions, I think it starts with 40. We do a ton of Lua structures then, and I promise you that you will get it there so you could come back to this one and draw it properly. I'm just going to give you the compounds because we've already done Lua structures. So for CLNO, the structure looks like this. You have chlorine will be single bound to nitrogen, which will be double bound to oxygen. Then you got that, and like that, versus CLON will have chlorine. This is now bound to oxygen, which will have a double bond with nitrogen. This will have the two bonds, this will have like that, and these will be good. Now let's do the formal charges for each of these and see where we're at. Formal charge formula is right here. We've already done this tons of times, so you guys sh should be, you know, familiar with it. Now it seems that this chlorine is the same as this chlorine over here because each one has one bond, one bond, and three lone pairs. Three lone pairs. So whatever we find out the formal charge of the one on the left, we know the one on the right. So... For this chlorine, formal charge for chlorine would be valence electrons, chlorine's over here on the periodic table, chlorine has seven valence electrons, so we start off with seven, minus number of bonds, chlorine only has this one bond, so that's minus one, minus number of dots, one, two, whoop, gotta do it with the highlighter, one, two, three, four, five, six, so that's minus six electrons. So seven minus one minus six is zero. So there's no charge coming from this chlorine. So I'll just put a zero up top here and the zero over here. But now this nitrogen is different from this nitrogen because the one on the left has one, two, three bonds as opposed to just two. So we gotta do it for both of them. But this should go fairly quickly, right? formal charge for this nitrogen is valence electrons. Nitrogen is five, right? It's in group 15. So five minus number of bonds. This nitrogen has one, two, three bonds. 
So minus 3 minus 2 dots. So minus 2. So this would be a 0. So this is also neutral. Let's do this nitrogen now to just show the difference. Formal charge for nitrogen is... Um, valence electrons is 5. That didn't change. Minus, this nitrogen only has 2 bonds. So it would be minus 2 minus... One, two, three, four dots. So minus four. So the formal charge for this nitrogen is five minus two minus four is a negative one. So this would have a negative one charge in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, so I can already start seeing discrepancies here. We have both neutral atoms here, but then we have a negative one. So meh, the more charges, mm, not good. Let's do the oxygens. They're different because this oxygen has two bonds and this oxygen has one, two, three. So let's start with the one on the left. This oxygen, formal charge of that would be valence. Oxygen has six. So six valence electrons minus two bonds. So minus two, minus one, two, three, four. So minus four. 6 minus 2 minus 4 is 0, so this is also neutral, 0 charge, which means that this got to be another charge. Can you guess the charge? There was no charge in the upper right-hand corner, which means that this compound and this one, right, is neutral. I already have a negative 1 charge, so what do you think this charge is going to be? It's got to be a plus 1, right, to, to balance out the the neutralness right but let's just see let's just double check so oxygen formal charge of oxygen is six minus this oxygen has one two three bonds so three minus two dots two and six minus three minus two is a plus one and there you go so which one is correct formal charge considerations basically means the less charges, the better. Compounds, molecules, they don't want any charges. Ch if you have charges, that means that it's less stable. So a compound like this, being all neutral, is much more stable than a compound having a zero, a plus one, and a negative one charge, which means that this compound, CLNO, would be the correct arrangement. But we already knew that before by just knowing that the central atom always has to be less electronegative. And that's that. All right? So, 67 is done. Thank you for tuning in. This one was great, right? Quick and easy, but we learned a lot of concepts, and that's what I like. So, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Tell all your friends, tell your classmates that this sauce service exists. I thank you for that. We're trying to get the word out for anyone across the globe that uses the OpenStax textbooks. Um, have an awesome day. Keep studying. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.